covering all of Southern California. This is CBS2 News Central at 11. Well, this year, an estimated 40,000 women will die from breast cancer. But the chances of survival continue to improve thanks to cutting-edge research. Tonight, CBS2 Susie Sa introduces us to a local dream team of doctors who are making progress in the fight against breast cancer. There are 200,000 new cases each year in this country. From diagnosis to determining a treatment, researchers are opening up a new door of hope for breast cancer patients. Shaking up traditional methods, taking a closer look at the molecular makeup. As soon as a woman has a lump that's biopsied, one of the first things she should ask her doctor is what subtype do I have? What do the markers on that tumor cell show? Dr. Dennis Slayman with UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center believes one size doesn't fit all when it comes to cancer therapy and treatment needs to be designed. We should have known this by virtue of the fact that some patients do well and some do poorly when they get these one size fits all approaches. And that's because they have a different subtype. There are three subtypes of breast cancer, hormone positive, the most common form. We have some reasonably good treatments for the hormone positives, although we still need new and better treatments there. Then there's HER2 positive and triple negative, the most aggressive forms. HER2 positive patients who make up about 25% of cases used to have the worst prognoses, but with the development of a new drug called Herceptin, Dr. Slayman helped turn the worst prognoses into the best. It's really turned that, that disease around. Now Dr. Slayman is looking into treatment for the triple negative subtype. The research is being done in UCLA labs like this one here in Santa Monica. Essentially what Dr. Slayman is doing is dissecting cancer cells to see what exactly is causing the problem. The idea is simple, fix what's broken. Target Taylor with the least amount of toxicity, leaving healthy cells alone. Early trials from the laboratory shows that it's particularly effective, and some of the trials with a similar molecule from another group also looks effective, so I think that there'll be pay dirt here. With hopes of broadening the therapies to other forms of cancer, medical experts are going full steam ahead. Dr. Slayman and his dream team received nearly $17 million from the Stand Up to Cancer benefit last year, and the first clinical trials are set to begin before the end of the year. The outlook is incredibly good. These therapies are less toxic and they are more effective. Take these patients so that tumor and that disease never challenges them again. Essentially, take the disease away. In Santa Monica, Susie Sa, CBS2 News.